Hello everyone, I am going to explain question number 8 and question number 9 of exercise 7.3 of class 12. And you know that chapter 7 is based on differentiation. So question 8 is we have to find out dy over dx for following functions. So here the first function is cos x upon log y where x is greater than 0 and second b part is this. So we will start by a part. Since we want dy over dx, so I assume this complete given function as y, that is my equation 1. Now since we have to differentiate, so I differentiate it with respect to x. So derivative symbol came with both. So here when we differentiate, since it is a fraction and you know fractional differentiation is denominator square, the denominator as it is, numerator differentiation minus numerator as it is and then denominator differentiation. So denominator square as it is in down. So here in denominator we have log x. So log x is square as it is here. Then what we have here? Denominator multiplied by numerator differentiation. So what is denominator here? Log x. So denominator multiplied by numerator differentiation minus. And after minus what we have here? Numerator multiplied by denominator differentiation. So numerator is cos x, so cos x multiplied by denominator differentiation. Now we will differentiate it, log x as it is, differentiation of cos x is minus sin x, then cos x as it is, differentiation of log x is 1 upon x. Now in next step, uh, this log x square as it is, and here you can see that uh, we have x here, we don't have anything here, so we can assume here 1 and take LCM of denominator 1 and this x. So after LCM and after simplification, we will obtain this step. Here minus came in front and because of this LCM, x came here, this minus cos x as it is. So here I took the LCM in the numerator and this log x square as it is. Now after it, both terms have minus sign, so minus is take outside and they will multiply. So we got this. Now further we cannot simplify it. So it's our answer. So A part is completed. Now we will start by B part. Now in B part we have the function like this. Root x then root x then root x. So it will repeat till infinity. So when you will get this kind of question. The pattern is like this. I assume this as equation 1. Then y is equal to root x and again power as y because student it's a, a long chain and it is moving till infinity so from this in infinity if you took only root x here then also meaning is not changed means except this root x the remaining remaining whatever remain here if we think then it is again a y so this from root x root x until infinity we can take it as y because from infinity only infinite means many for many only root x I kept here so meaning is not changed so this is again a y so I wrote here y so we can write like this now it's a implicit function so take logarithm in both the sides implicit function means in which the variable we cannot separate since variable we cannot separate so it is a implicit function so take logarithm in both the sides. So we will get this. Now here it is a power. So it will come in front because of this formula. Now x root x we can write as half. Now half is again a power. So it half again will come here. Now differentiate it with respect to x. So derivative symbol came both the sides. Here log y differentiation is 1 upon y. And because of chain rule dy over dx. Now here it is in the form of u dot v. So because of this formula, first y as it is, then differentiation log x, then log x as it is, then differentiation of y. Now, in next step, this term as it is, half as it is, log x differentiation is 1 upon x and this term as it is. Now open the bracket, so half will distribute to both. Now dy over dx is shift in the other side. Then take dy over dx common, take the LCM. After taking the LCM, you will get this. Now this fraction you just shift here, so you have to do the reciprocal. After doing reciprocal, we obtain like this. 
So this 2 and this 2 will cancel and this y multiplied by y is y square and we got here. So this is our last answer of this part B of question number 8th. Now we will start question number 9th. In question number 9th, again we have to find out dy over dx. The question is this. So in this question, we will differentiate it because here you can use u dot v formula and sign inverse f differentiation we know. So directly we will differentiate. So when we will differentiate, we will use u dot v formula. So y as it is differentiation of this and then the root 1 minus x square as it is then differentiation of y. And here differentiation of sin inverse x is this and because of chain rule it came like this. Now we will use the x to the power n formula that is n x n minus 1 and because of chain rule we have to differentiate this 1 minus x square again. Now here we will keep this as it is. Now dx over dx is 1. Now in next step this y multiplied by 1 upon 2 is y upon 2. Now here when you will subtract you will get minus half. Now when you will differentiate 1 differentiation is 0 and x square differentiation from x to the power n formula that is n x n minus 1. So 2 x 2 minus 1 is 1. So we obtain this. Now this term as it is and this term as it is. Again simplify it. When you simplify this 2 will this 2x and this y will multiply and you will get here minus 2xy and this because it is a minus half so because of minus sign it will shift in denominator and because of half root symbol will come here so you will get root 1 minus x square in denominator because of this minus half. So this term is simplified here now this term as it is and this term also as it is. Now in next step here 2 and 2 will cancel. And since it is a negative term, so shift in right hand side, so it becomes positive. Now here, this I wrote as it is in left hand side. Now since we want only dy over dx, so it is in multiply, so it will go in divide. And here you just see, in both the denominator we have root 1 minus x square, so take it common. And you will get here 1 plus xy in bracket. Now when you will multiply, bracket will open, means root will remove. So you will get here 1 minus x square. So that's the that's the first part's answer. Now we we'll start with B part of question number nine. In B part we have like this. Since we want dy over dx, so y I separated. After separating y I obtain like this. Now students, if I will directly go for differentiation, then to differentiate it, I have to use the formula u upon v. Then when I will use u upon v formula, it's going to be very complicated. So to remove all the complications, it's better to take log in both the sides. I am repeating why I am taking log. Usually we used to take logarithm when we obtain the implicit function. Implicit function means in which the variable cannot be separated. But here we separated the variable. Then also I am doing by logarithm because to reduce the burden. What burden we are going to face? Because it is in the form of fraction. So when we use u upon v formula, it is going to be very complicated. That is why it is suggested that take logarithm in these kind of questions. So when we take logarithm, this root symbol will come as half. And uh, since you know log m to the power n is n log m, that's why this half will come in front. And log m upon n is log m minus n. Means when they are in division, minus n used to come in middle. That's why log 1 minus x minus log 1 plus x. Now, now differentiate it. So when we differentiate it, derivative symbol will come with all terms. So here log y differentiation is 1 upon y, then use the chain rule. Here also half as it is. So when you will differentiate it, it will come as 1 up, log x differentiation is 1 upon x. That's why its differentiation is also 1 upon 1 minus x. And according to the chain rule, we have to apply the chain rule here. So derivative symbol will come with 1 minus x. In the same way here also log 1 plus x differentiation is 1 upon 1 plus x then because of chain rule derivative symbol will come with 1 plus x again. Now in next step this y is in divide so it will go in multiply here that is why y upon 2. Now when we differentiate in the bracket 1 is a constant so constant differentiation is 0 and x differentiation is 1. Here again constant is 1 so differentiation is 0 and x differentiation is 1. Now after so, removing the small brackets, we will get here like this. 
Now take the LCM. When we take the LCM, we'll obtain like this. Open the small brackets. When we'll open the small brackets, we'll found that minus x and plus x will remove. And in denominator, it is in the form of a minus b, a plus b. That is a square minus b square. Now here, take minus common from down. So when you will take minus common, minus sum will be come here. Two cancel by two. Since minus symbol came outside, so sign reverses inside. That is x square become positive and one becomes negative. Now minus will cancel by minus. Hence, question number ninth B parts answer is y upon x square minus one. So students, question number eighth and question number ninth is completed. So mainly we had used two pattern. Either directly we differentiated or we had took the help of logarithm. So logarithm help you have to take if you obtain implicit function or you want to uh, remove your calculation burden. That time you can take the logarithm help unless you can directly differentiate to find out dy over dx and always keep in your mind the chain rule. You have to take the derivative symbol until you reach innermost function. Hence this both parts is completed. Thank you.